Welcome to ChemHelp ASAP. We're going to talk about the different types of alcohols that we encounter in organic chemistry. And this ties directly into the types of carbocations and the types of halides that we have. So that's why we have so much stuff on this screen. So if you notice, on the top row we mention carbocations. Carbocations, we talked about how we have methyl, primary, secondary, tertiary carbocations, and, and the identity the identity of the carbocation is determined by how many carbon groups we have on our central carbocation carbon. So if we have none, it's a methyl. If we have one, it's primary, two, secondary, and then one, two, three, it's tertiary. The same went for how we classified halides. Halides could be methyl or primary or secondary or tertiary, depending on how many carbon groups we had around our carbon that bore the hydrogen or bears the hydrogen. Exact same thing goes for alcohols. We can have methyl, primary, secondary, and tertiary alcohols. And these different degrees of substitution for these alcohols will affect their reactivity in our different reactions. So I, I would rather you not think of, oh, tertiary is bad or tertiary is good. It really depends on the particular reaction you're going to perform. If you want to do an SN2 reaction, you probably don't want tertiary because that tertiary, that substitution around this tertiary alcohol around this carbon tends to prevent, through steric hindrance, any SN2 chemistry on that carbon. However, if you want to do something like an SN1 reaction where you form a carbocation, all this extra substitution helps to stabilize the carbocation. So what's, what's good for one reaction may be bad for another. So it's not a good or a bad label. It's simply these are the different types of substitution, and these different substitution patterns have an effect on the various reactions that we're going to learn for our alcohols.